They had that on the Peloton. Oh yeah, they go pretty hard on the Peloton. Some of the rides are marked explicit. Like I was doing the Dennis Morden Outcast ride. He said, don't be surprised if a swear word comes out of my mouth accidentally. And I was like, oh, so we're going hard today. And then he kept it G-rated the entire time. He was doing like the dad rap thing where he was rapping along with the, uh, the songs. But whenever there was a swear word, he was just covering his mouth. We regret to announce the next chapter of The Goblin Saga will not be coming to Netflix. Despite our best efforts to bring this beloved fantasy world to life, we have not seen the level of interest and engagement we hoped for. What the hell is The Goblin Saga? Oh, no. <laughs> I did it to myself. No. Goblin these nuts. No. Years. Years of not getting caught by one of those. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Goblin saga on my cock? What? This doesn't even make sense. It's also somebody... I'm getting thrown for a loop here because somebody said Crazy Bitch by Buck Cherry was nominated for a Grammy. That can't be true. Do they give Grammys for worst song of all time? Hang on, I need to think for a second. I need my, my abyssal sampling device. If you would be so kind. And then... Honestly, just put this crab pot back here for now. It's fucking daytime, bro. We gotta sell some of our detritus, too. Let me first look at my research. Wait, I can just get one... Oh, but I don't... Do I even have the space to fit this son of a gun? This catches... This, holy fuck, this catches everything, man. What the hell is this? Crab pots and nets. Abyssal, Hadal, Oceanic? Wait, we don't have this one yet. This, this would allow us to do Abyssal and Hadal. Okay. This would allow Abyssal, Hadal, and Oceanic. Why not? Fishing speed plus 82%. Holy cow. Fathomless winch now available in stores. What is this? An action figure based on a Bloodborne boss? <laughs> um, shipyard. I want this. I want the Fathomless Winch. Uninstall this garbage? Your ass, like, doesn't even really fit. We gotta sell our trinkets, man. Then buy this. I can't afford this shit. Are you crazy? I'm gonna farm up money for this. I'm, I'm sorry to do it. We'll get to 675, and then we'll... We'll come back, we'll install that rod, and then we won't have to do so much grinding in the future. POV, you are broke. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna grind now so we don't have to grind later. Exactly. Something that I wish... Halle Berry did do when she was filming Cat... I don't know. Also, like, the whole time I was watching Catwoman, I was like... At any point, is Batman involved in this fucker? Or, like... I'm gonna go. You know what I should do? Fast travel me back. That was cool. And then, are you the lad that I sell things to? Oh, 
Holy cow, are you seeing all the all the shit I got? No, this is not the lad. I knew that. This is the lad. Nope. This is the that's the lad right there. Oh, he's crazy. He's crazy. Did you see that dodge? Okay, rest me just just cuz I need to get my sanity back. And then buy my buy my shit, dude. Sell me. Sell me. Sell me. Sell me. I'm selling it all. I don't care if they are quest items. Sell me. How about a large bag of doubloons? Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking rich, dude. You're selling like the 2022 Canucks? We didn't... We, all we did, we sold Horvat. That's it. I wish we sold more. There were probably nobody was buying, is my guess. To us? Listen, don't flatter yourself. You're not on the... You're not on the Islanders, probably. That being said... Are you making the playoffs? You should win the Stanley Cup for Bo Horvat. That would be cool. Probably. We are most likely making the playoffs. That's the that's the Horvat advantage right there. Oilers year this year. I'm no longer a Canadian team hater. I would I would love to see I mean I don't really care that much. A lot of Canucks fans hate the Flames. Uh, hate the Oilers, hate the um, the Leafs for sure, and then maybe tolerate the rest of the Canadian teams. I would uh, I would be happy to see any Canadian team win this year. Toronto always has a good team. Yes, they always lose in the first round, but maybe one day that'll break. Um, Edmonton is I mean they got the best player of the generation. It'd be nice to see them have even more playoff success. Forgot about this guy. Search the campsite. There's nothing here. Inspect the symbols. Inspect the last symbol. Oh! Inspect the footprints. Okay. Caps going all the way. Like they have like a 95% chance to miss the playoffs this year. I'm sorry to tell you. They're down there in the lottery with us. Hang on. What the heck is this? God's chair? A slab of rock cut above the waves. There's four large, powerful fish shapes carved into the its face and four great fissures running through the rock's base. Drop some fish in there. And then it'll open up a portal, which wins the game for us. The monster from Dredge passes you the boof. What are you doing? Probably dying. My expectation is that I probably would die. It'll probably pass on. smoke it I guess I'd rather die while under the influence of the Zaza if I gotta get eaten by like a monster especially
Your ghost will be hide? I mean, that seems okay. Doesn't seem like that big of a deal. They sell Zaza at Wawa? Don't, <laughs> come on. We're not doing this shit again. I have $700 now. Can I, oh, this is not where I want to, I, I hate your stupid ass. Everybody move to the same island, okay? So I stopped going to the wrong island. When the Hulk hits the Zaza at Wawa and he's like, I was made for this. Listen, I'm, I've done my best to ignore this comment. There's simply no way that AOC has a burner Twitter account called Zaza Demon. It's just... Like, if you believe in that conspiracy theory, you should have your finances be, like, administered by a third party. Like, a, like someone, like a fiduciary that has your in, best interest in mind. Wrong way yet again. So it is. It is funny. There's simply no way it's true. Yeah, Twitter still has the Doge avatar. It's pretty funny. I think what's really funny about it is how mad it makes people. Like I don't I'm I'm kind of sick. I'm kind of twisted. My favorite comedy is in like stuff that's funny per se it's more like if the people that i disagree with get angry then that's hilarious and as you know i'm a huge fan of the of doge i love his his currency and his memes so <laughs> a lot of my worst enemies really hate the the doge avatar so i am loving life right now this is my impression of a Twitter Blue subscriber. Sorry, sorry. Or a legacy verified account. We don't know anymore. We got them all. It's the Rutherford Bohr cinnamon bun model of the atom. We don't know what's an electron. We don't know what's a proton. It's just, it's all kind of mixed up in the dough somewhere. Okay, finally. I can install my fathomless winch. Is it really called the, the plum pudding model? In Canada, we call it the raisin bun model. Does anyone here work in the, in the raisin industry, by the way? Because I gotta know, like... It's, it's just a, an honest question. If you're like a raisin creator, I don't know if you'd be a raisin farmer. I, isn't that just someone who plants grapes and then like... owns a dehydrator? But... Like... I feel like raisins are on the way out, man. Like, old people love raisins. I'm okay with raisins. But the younger generation does not really like raisins the same way the older generation does, man. I think that there's secular trends in the raisin industry. It's still, we, we've made up for some of the loss in sun-made demand by getting ourselves into trail mix. Okay, you know what? I did not know that. I should not be out here at nighttime. What's wrong with me? Go sleep. Snooze me. Do you think old people liked raisins as kids? I think so. I would like to activate this again. Thank you. I mean, I gotta... I, I bet, like... I can't say worldwide. But I bet, like, fully 50% of raisins consumed in North America are consumed via raisin bran. Some people are still eating the, the sun-made, like, red raisin boxes, sure. 
and so there's a little bit in trail mix, occasionally a chocolate-covered raisin. Ooh. A glossette, if you will. Yogurt covered raisin boxes. I mean, people are saying that as if like it's like it's common knowledge. I've never never had a yogurt covered raisin myself. I'm fairly like pro raisin, honestly. Very important in a picadillo. Giant arthropod. Hang on, what do I need again? Anglerfish, loose jaw, giant amphipod, and snailfish. Some dredging to be done as well. You're not what I'm looking for. I don't believe you're what I'm looking for. Let's see. I can always discard you with a smile. Might need to be at night. You know what? Duly noted. I just feel like... Raisins are... I, don't, I wouldn't say they're on their way out. But I bet we've passed peak raisin. Like, my mom was definitely buying that for my school lunches. As a kid. And I, I just don't know if I see raisins still, you know... I, They've been relegated to like a niche, uh, a niche snack in the grocery store, but I don't know. I, I don't, I, I, I don't see other kids' lunches at daycare. So, how would I know? A sextant, film. I mean, let's just dump this fool. Oh, he's back. Yeah, I'd like to activate the machine again. <laughs> yes, that was a reference to Pru An 2 forever. The hell is this? Gulper eel. Thanks for having like a really convenient shape, brother. Um According to Google Trends, raisins peaked in April 2020. I don't is is that a normalized uh, graph though? So I feel like search volume for almost everything probably peaked in like April of 2020 because fucking everybody was at home, didn't know what to do. They're like, oh, well, you know what? I don't have like work today. And I'm like I've done all my Animal Crossing dailies. Let me Google like uh, the history of raisins just to feel something for a second. That's true. People weren't really searching for for much in the 1970s either. We could see library searches from the 1970s. I bet people were taking out lots of books about raisins back then. I don't have the right equipment for that spot. I don't have the right. British Columbia known for any foods? Good question. I don't have an answer for you. It was BC Bud. I don't know if that's like a salad green or something. The lesser salmon? I don't even take offense to that. I think that's true. Even here, people definitely eat the Atlantic salmon more than the sockeye. The Nanaimo bars? I guess. The Nanaimo bars? I've had some Nanaimo bars in my life. Some apples. 
Sockeye is goaded? I'll eat any kind of salmon, but I, it pains me to say that I, I definitely... I prefer the Atlantic. The sockeye, I, I almost never say this. It is a little, it's a little gamey. As a maritimer, I appreciate that. That's because Atlantic salmon's all farmed. This is literally the wrong direction. <laughs> I, I have no opinion on farmed versus wild salmon. I honestly, like, it, do you ever feel like there's just too much to have an opinion on these days? I just, I, I'm, maybe I'm the last honest man in the world. I honestly just can't be fucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, hey, hey! At this point, I don't, I don't know whether farmed is better because it's more sustainable, wild is better because it's more rich in omega-3s or whatever. It's just like, it's just too much, man. I can't, I've got an opinion on way too many things. I'll just buy whatever's in the grocery store. I'm tired, boss. Me, when people ask my opinion on an actor whose movies I've never seen because he committed a crime in a country I've never been to. I'm tired, boss. I don't know. He shouldn't have done that, I guess. Oh, but if he was starving to death, you wouldn't support him robbing a loaf of bread from a bakery? I don't know, man. I don't, I, I don't know. Did this really happen? Okay, about those specimens you're after. Any chance you just would take a gulper eel off my hands just to, just to do it? You guys ever wake up in a new Bugatti? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> the traveling merchant loves the eel. Okay. Donkey, donkey, donk. Boat's kind of zooming. Oh, we've made some progress. Would you rather work a week at Costco or be a pro Valorant player for a week? I, you've given me a question I can't answer. Because I'm searching my heart, I do feel like... I'm not saying that working at Costco would necessarily be fun. But I think one week would be illuminating for me. I would get some valuable life experience. And maybe I would be like, that was cool. Or maybe I'd be like, holy cow, I'm finally like a streamer that appreciates like what I've got in life. I think that could actually be like good for me. I just have no interest in being a Valorant player. I will say when I was at Costco yesterday, I, I continue to, to enjoy the store of Costco. Um, but some of the patrons blow me away. There was like a 20 person line to sample, um, like a, a, a little, I don't even know what it was. It was like a, a, like a jalapeno popper, but sliced in the 16ths or something like that. You know what the sample was for? What happened to my eel? Oh, it rotted. <laughs> Well, you know what is worth it. Um, the sample was for Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Come on, I've seen like middle-aged men and women in line for like three or four minutes to have a, a pico bite of a cauliflower jalapeno popper with a dab of Frank's Red Hot Sauce on it. Like you're you're better than that. I I'm not saying like it as an insult. I'm saying it as like a as a compliment. Like, your time is worth more. D 
Yes, I'm like, I'm seek help. Did you line up though? No, my ass, I, I did like three aisles in the time it took them to get like, mm, that was good, the end. I mean, like if you're, if you need to like be in line for food to eat to not starve to death, that's one thing, okay? But like to just be at Costco and wait in line for five minutes to taste Frank's red hot sauce is like psychotic. I know that all those fuckers know what Frank's Red Hot Sauce tastes like as well. They're just like, oh, I'm a little peckish. So they're waiting in line for, for one bite? What if I'm unemployed and I go to Costco just for fun? It doesn't bother me. I will say that I saw two people in Costco yesterday, and I, there was a part of me that was like, these guys are fans. They knew I was coming to Costco, so they just wanted to get a sight. You know how I spotted them? It's because they were in Costco, they didn't have any any carts. You, this is not a store you go basket or just bare hands. Costco is a cart store because as soon as you buy one thing, both of your hands are full. So you think I didn't see you? You think I didn't see you trying to get a trying to see me uh, scan the chocolate bars individually for the electrical inveterates? I saw you. If you're gonna try to see me at the Costco, if you want to stay under the radar, you better at least get a damn cart. That's all I'm saying. Any chance you'll take some rot? Nope, okay, fair enough. Can you go to my storage, please? My storage, my storage, my storage, my storage, my storage, my storage, my storage. Hang on, I see an opportunity for optimization. He's gone crazy. They were just there for the pizza. I don't buy it. Okay. Now, what the hell were we doing? <laughs> Did you see the video of the girl twerking on her boyfriend at the Taylor Swift concert? Ridiculous question. Of course I saw it. I believe the QT was... Um, Taylor Swift ain't got no songs that should have you acting like this. Anglerfish. Stoplight loose jaw. Okay, we can get anglerfish in the daytime. I can do that. And then the loose jaw is at night, right? And then... New hull. Start dumping some detritus in here gonna take us a bit to get there and and that's okay whoops what have I done it's gone I spent it holy cow dude we are we we got it oh my god all we need is the 500 bucks holy One of these days, I'm going to figure out how these menus work. Talk to her about the eel. All right. Hey again, come by for a chat. About those fish you wanted to find. I found a gulper eel. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Scammed! <laughs> you dummy. Oh, man. Still got my two research parts. Skirt. Oh, yeah, let's rest. Skirt. You scammed yourself by letting it rot? It's okay, it's just digital money. Like, it's not... It's not... It's digital money sans blockchain. It's got no value. Watch this. Ready? I, I was just gonna throw my engine overboard, but then I decided that would make more people angry, so I decided not to. Do it, coward. It would be funny for like a second. I found a two-liter jug of soy sauce at my Costco. I mean, that's the blessing and the curse of Costco. 
If you're buying something there, you better make damn sure you like it. The other curse of Costco is that the store was designed by Mark Z. Danieluski and the layout changes every time you go. But like you definitely don't go there and you're like, oh, I just need like a little ketchup. Like your minimum amount of ketchup you're getting at Costco is like two big bottles. My girlfriend and I got a 25 pound bag of rice last time. Was it fancy crop? Let me see here. I need to catch some fish. I need to farm up money, and I need to catch an anglerfish, and I need to catch a, a lantern fish or whatever, the lockjaw fish. People told me it's northeast of the old fortress. The walls are shifting. Oh, that reminds me. I actually thought about um, making, like, a Spelunky tweet. That was, like, the walls are shifting, like the Ouroboros snake, but then it was, like, transparently or translucently masked over a picture of the Costco warehouse but then i was like i honestly just can't be fucked honestly but i thought <laughs> i thought it could go kind of hard <laughs> angler fish really big shoe really big fish I work at Costco. The reason they change the shit all the time is so people spend more time looking for what they need. It's really fucked up. No, I actually think it's like a lot of fun, personally. It's every time I go to Costco, it's like a treasure hunt. What is this? Jewel encrusted band. Like, maybe for you, this is cynical, and I could understand that. That you're like, oh, they do, like, behavioral tricks to make you spend more money in Costco. But the thing that's crazy is, like, most stores, when I get, like, a bill, I'm like, what the fuck? This isn't worth this at all. But, like, the more money I spend at Costco, I'm like, in my head, I'm not saying this is valid, but it's how it feels. In my head, I'm like, the more I'm saving. So, I'm almost proud of, like, a big Costco bill. If, if I went to Costco and my bill was like under a hundred bucks, I would be like, why was I even here? What I, I really, I went through the nightmare of the parking lot and like half of the city being in the same store at exactly the same time just to buy what, like 17 sticks of butter? Useless. Costco lobbyists have taken over this man? Listen, motherfucker. If you, your ass better be on the fucking psychotic uh, r slash frugal diet if you're insulting Costco. That's all I'm saying. If your ass orders DoorDash once a month, I don't want to hear you talking about how expensive Costco is, okay? You better be on the, not just rice and beans. It better be fucking dry rice and it better be dry beans because you can save three cents per kilogram soaking them yourself for four hours, okay? Also, yeah, he knows, he, this guy knows his pill is a placebo, but he takes it anyway. Why not? It's the, if, it's, if I know it's a placebo, in it, but it works, then it's not a placebo. That's why they call it the placebo effect. It's not called the placebo doesn't work. It's called the placebo effect. Okay, I'm snoozing until nighttime. Who cares? We're wasting days. What, is our dude gonna be forced into, like, early retirement by Emmanuel Macron? Now, I've been told that the fish I'm looking for maybe is right there. Holy fuck, I had to throw up, dude.
He's a cute guy. I'm not dying this time, okay? Favorite way to eat kimchi? <laughs> Honestly, I'm a straight up guy. Just like um, Halle Berry says in, in Catwoman, I'll, what do you have? I'll take a white Russian, no ice, hold the vodka, hold the Kahlua. And then the guy goes, here you go, cream, straight up. And she drinks it, and then she gives a little milk mustache, and she licks her lips. <laughs> Did you watch it last night? I'm only halfway through. I don't know spoilers, please. Sharon Stone still hasn't even gone sicko mode. I mean, I like I like kimchi flavored uh, stuff. Like I like a kimchi jun, like a kimchi pancake. I like a kimchi jjigae. But um, more than anything else, I just enjoy a... I just enjoy a good kimchi, honestly. Your fish is gonna rot. This is my bad, I forgot she was here. I thought she was at the other uh, outpost. Kimchi sucks, low key, sauerkraut simply superior. I like them both. I don't, I don't, they will not divide us. My anglerfish rotted. <laughs> All right, let's go get another one. The fish be rotten too fast. Like, can't we just catch the anglerfish, throw it in our net, and then just like leave it in the water behind us? Cucumber kimchi. Now you're tied. Kate did make some cucumber kimchi last night. Here's how it went down. We were at um, Hanam Supermarket. I love cucumber kimchi. I said, I'm not paying $5.99 for three little mini cucumber kimchis, Hanam. Fuck you. Instead, I will just buy some cucumbers. And we already have, um, you know, red pepper powder and all the... All the brown sugar and other stuff you would use maybe rice wine vinegar to make it and then I didn't make it and I told Kate and she made it for me and it was delicious but then she did tell me that two cucumbers and the red pepper that she used in order to make it came to $11 so she was like if you like it just buy it from Hanam next time in my head two cucumbers and a red pepper is not $11 though not at Costco at least <laughs> At Costco, I gotta think. Three dollars? No, like red peppers, at least here, red peppers are pretty pricey. But I thought cucumbers were like 99 cents a pop. But it's been a long time since I bought one. Red peppers like 250 each. I would I would think like maybe three three fifty Canadian. So it sounds like it's about right. I mean, I honestly I think the reason that like red peppers so, so are so expensive like is a I live in an expensive city, but b there's like demand. Like we need to we need to have some demand destruction on red peppers, but. You motherfuckers are making me pay so much for red peppers because you buy that shit every week. I buy like one red pepper every two months. Meanwhile, everybody else is like the price will never come down because you guys love them so much. You're really bending me over here. Give me the bad news first. The samples you retrieved have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it. I need to write up a report on my findings. Oh, how rude of me. Here's a book. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. She literally just gave me like her dissertation. I did this, this fetch quest took me two and a half hours and she gave me her own book. 
That's a slap in the damn face. At least she didn't charge you? She charged me four fish! I, someone in chat is on the right track, by the way. They said we need a buyer's cartel. That's absolutely true. You know how we were going to do the TikTok challenge that, like, on Friday, we were all going to pull our money out of TD Canada Trust on the same day <laughs> and take down the Canadian banking cartel just to see what would happen? We need to do that shit, like, TikTok challenge. For one month, we don't buy any red peppers. And then just see what happens to the price of red peppers. I bet that shit will come down like 20, 30% the next time we're at the grocery store. What about food waste? They'd be like salt in the earth with that shit anyway, just to keep the prices high. Let's do it. For the, the rest of April, nobody buy any red peppers, okay? I'm going to hold this to you. Deal. Let's go. I'm, I'm doing my part already. They're tasty, though? Fuck you. Get out of our... You're not welcome in our cartel. Is this TOS? I don't think so. But the bank one might have been, but it was a joke anyway. <laughs> hey, what am... Wait, I... So I've completed this island. I'm crazy? I've completed the island? I'm insane at gaming? Oh, you're only 500 bucks. We're not even close. We could have a couple, uh, couple days of fishing to upgrade our hull, and then Malf will be sorry he ever picked a fight with us. Let me, I want to speak with you. Sell all trinkets. $16.50. Sell all trinkets. How much is $27.50 right there? $49.50. I'm, I'm freaking loaded, bro. Take your glasses off, Corey. Nah. Why not? The famous. You know what I'm talking about? Hang on, dredge me? Sir? Macros, it's Australian culture. I thought you would be I thought you'd be into it. <laughs> you should apologize now. Okay, take my sextant, please. He doesn't want it. Because it's in your storage course. Wait, he, I still didn't take my sex in. I took the, <laughs> I took the ring. I'm kind of stupid today. You are due a reward. You have gotten banish. Fires off a blazing light that dispels and protects. It dispels, but it also protects. I can't imagine, all, I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map. I'm now 70% of the way through the game. I am now understanding the loop. Every island contains a relic. When you're done with the island, you take the relic back to this motherfucker, and then he tells you what island to go to next. Meanwhile, you uh, upgrade your ship so you don't get killed by increasingly scary eldritch monsters. The sextant? I did, someone said you sell the sextant. I thought this guy, he doesn't want... Um, he doesn't want it. The other guy wants it, right? Yeah, he did. See?
playing the dolls kind of makes you trash at this? What are you, what are you talking about? We're good today. We're pretty good today. Dredge me? I have the right equipment for this spot. A sextant. Film! You <laughs> meant trash at streaming. What the hell? Go live just to get condescended to by strangers all day. People are like, why are you so defensive? Click the go live button. People are like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> okay, we're... We're going to the northwest this time. Let me dredge real quick. I don't know how much... I guess we'll probably need a lot of wood. I'd like to see some metal at some point, too. Blub, blub, blub. Maybe get a rod? Oh, I assure you, just ask your mom. I've got a rod. <laughs> Not necessary. There's really no need for that. That is true. Going into a streamer's chat and leaving positive messages is kind of like psychotic, for sure. I can't imagine showing up to, like, one of my friend's streams and being like, Good stream! I might say lol, for sure. If something's funny, I'll lol. But just showing up and be like, being like, Wow, this was such a great stream today! I'll be like, what? I mean, if I did that to Dan, I think he would have, like, a wellness check sent to me. It seems way more honest, although this is probably a bias. It seems way more honest to just lull when the streamer makes a mistake. As if you wouldn't make have made the mistake. I call out. A small slot in the door snaps open. I'm trying to find my way home. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. No, I'm supposed to be delivering this package to a Little Marrow. A huge leviathan lurks in the deep waters. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I could deliver that package. I can deliver this package. Thank you, stranger. I'm not sure what's inside, but sometimes I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Why don't you take this too? Getting over it. Get it. He gave us a video game. Finally, no more of these stupid books. How do you sink a Canadian submarine? You swim down and knock on the door? Is it, the joke is that we're, we're stupid. Is that the joke? Too polite? Yeah, well, did you know that the NASA spent $100 million trying to develop a pen that would write in zero gravity so they could write stuff down on the Apollo missions? The Soviets used a pencil. <laughs> Apparently that's not true, but you could believe that it would be true which in many ways makes it even more true than something that's the truth. <laughs>